Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Simon Dürr and today I will show you how to use the eBTraders AutoCore or Synopsys Silver Evaluation Package. This evaluation package includes eBTraders AutoCore and that includes two template projects called Application Ethernet and Application CAN. The template applications contain a broad set of basic software modules and application software components. With our Synopsys Silver integration, you can execute and debug them directly on your PC. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install eBTrezos, generate and build a template project, and then how to execute the virtual ECU in Synopsys Silver. Before you start, please make sure that you have the following tools installed on your PC. Synopsis Silver, version U2023.03 and a Linux shell such as included in Git, Git Bash for example. After downloading and extracting the package from the EB website, you have the following files. A zip file containing the ACP887 for Synopsis Silver. Please extract this file. The EB Client License Administrator, which is required to activate your license for this evaluation package. Install it and then enter the license activation code that you received from Electrobit. And the important notes text document. You can open it in your editor. Please read this file thoroughly as it explains how to install the delivery and it also lists all known issues. You can now install eBTrezos by clicking on setup.exe and then on install. Now that we have successfully installed eBTrezos, you need to install the Synopsys MCAL drivers into the eBTrezos installation folder. This step is necessary because of current legal restrictions. The installation section in the important notes document provides links to further instructions. Open the readme file within the mcal ext plugin. It tells us that we need to have silver u2023.03 on our machine installed. And then open the mcal delivery folder in a bash shell, such as git bash. If multiple versions of Synopsys Silver are installed on your machine, you need to ensure that the Silver Home environment variable points to the Synopsys Silver installation directory. Let's now switch to the OS plugin and invoke install plugins here too. And that's it regarding the setup. We can now build one of the demo projects. In this tutorial I will build application CAN. The application Ethernet demo project can be built and tested in just the same way. Open eBTracer Studio and open an empty workspace. I am choosing CEB Tracers templates here because that is where the template projects are located. However, any other location works as well. As a next step, 
let us import the project application can into the workspace and open it. As we can see next to the root ECU node, the project is indeed for the silver target. Looking at the properties of the CAN MCAL shows us that it is a silver MCAL. Now click on the hammer icon to generate the code for the project. After the successful code generation, the project has an output directory with all the generated files. We're almost there. The next step is to build our virtual ECU. Use the Open File Location option on your EPTracer Studio shortcut to navigate to the installation directory of EPTracers. Open the util directory in your project in the terminal. The build system uses the tools delivered along with Synopsys Silver, for example, the compiler, to build the virtual ECU. If Synopsys Silver is installed in the default location, its directory pass has white spaces and that causes problems during the build. Create a link without white spaces to avoid this problem. First, edit the launchconfig.bat and set the toolpath compiler to the silver installation path without any white spaces. Then, create that link using PowerShell. Here I am using the new item command to create the link. Now you are able to build the virtual ECU. The DLL that will be loaded by Synopsis Silver can be found in Output Bin. Start Synopsis Silver and open the Silver project file that is included in the application CAN project. In the project view on the left hand side of the silver window, you can see that the DLL that you built before is now loaded into Synopsis Silver. The plotter on the right hand side shows the value of an 8 bit counter variable which is incremented each second by an application software component in the demo ECU. Reload and then run the simulation to observe that the plotter actually shows an incremented counter. When you switch to the console view, you can see the log output of the virtual ECU, which also shows the counter value. Now, this is the end of the tutorial. I would recommend you to inspect the user guide of Synopsis Silver to learn about all the other features it provides such as debugging, virtual buses, logging, or even multi-core simulations. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.